Starting up. All right, so this was requested from Austin. Uh, he wants us to play a green black loan deck. So in the uh, in the lands here, we've got 26 lands. We've got two Baron Moors and two Tranquil tickets for the cycle lands. Um, then we've got the Blast Zone, the Bajuka Bog, the Field of Ruins, the Ghost Quarters for some utility lands. The rest of the lands are comprised of some forests, overgrown tombs, swamps, twilight mires, and an herb board and a couple fetches. Uh, in the one drops, we've got three Fatal Pushes, four Raven's Crime, three Thought Seizes, two Bobs, four Loams, four Goyfs, four Trophies, four Veils, um, four trackers and two of the new uh, Ayula's influence. In the sideboard, I modified this a bit. Originally, he sent this over me with four ley lines um, and a, a couple other adjustments. I did want to get Plague Engineer in here. I think this card is going to do some good work for us. Um, Collective Brutality. So, two of those, three engineers, one damnation, two Kalidus. He did not have this card in there as well. Um, the other reason I made these changes is uh, I wasn't able to actually rent the way he had it set up, so I had to make some modifications. Uh, Leyland of the Void, Collector Oost, two of those, one Pulse, and then um, one Spell Bomb. I'm going to get the uh, list going. If you are interested in his original list, let me know. I can definitely send that over your way. All right, let's get this loam going. And I should have it updated on Stream Decker here in just a second. I have been wanting to play a Loam deck. I actually bought my play set of Loam just a bit ago. Um, there's a Jun version that I want to try out. I want to play that old Jun value. Um, I did want to pick up those Ren and Sixes, but they shot up to $50 for some terrible reason for us. Okay. Um, got a little bit of interaction. We're a little light on lands, but I think we're good to keep this. We would have liked maybe one more land, and we would have been pretty happy. Thoughtseize would have been nice, too, instead of double push, but who knows? If their creature-based deck will be solid. Lava Mancer. Okay. Um, this is most likely burn. Um, and I do I want to grab the... I'm going to do this. I don't really want to shock myself, but I want to get rid of this. So we can get our bob out safely. And still have access for the tracker mana. Yeah, just buy them. <laughs> I have a hard time buying um, cards for like pet decks. Um, we could hit their inspiring vantage here and get another black source, and then that way we can hold up. Uh, for push, and then we'll be able to actually cast Lily. Yeah, I play it so much that it's really worth the investment. I'll snag up my Goyfs, my Lilies, and then my Red and Six, and be on the way to it. Hmm, do we care more about Eidolon or Swift Sphere? I guess we'll take out that. Make them sack the Eidolon. We can drop the Goyf next turn. Uptick, drop the tracker, and we should be okay from there. I actually do like Jun quite a bit, and I have like a place in my heart for like the aggro loam deck, and that's the version I want the deck I want to build. Like my very first GP, like that was the one of the decks that people played, and I was like, this is the greatest deck ever!
Hmm. I think running out Goy. If it's, we could go Tracker into um, into a clue token, but I think getting out this big old creature is our best bet. Because I'll just send two burn spells and I can black down everything. Where the tracker can get shot down. I am going to hold the thicket in hand though. For a while, one of my friends did own just Jun, because I feel like a lot of modern players just own Jun. And you can just get your hands on that, that's really sweet once you do. Because it's just a fun deck to keep leaving the side, you know? Even though it's been perpetually in like tier 3, tier 2 for quite some time, and the green black version is just better. Yeah, I've really just, I'm, I'm pretty, as much as I love Tron, I don't really want to be on it right now. It just doesn't seem to be in the right spot of what we're looking for. Trophy, okay. So let's uptick first. And then run this out, play that. And we're just gonna pass. I don't want to get hit with like a burn spell and then they could run in the guide. After this, we can start swinging. Hitting them with the ghost quarter doesn't seem bad either. Let's make them sack a creature. Court of Vantage, get them off white. Oh, they have no basic lands left, that's fantastic. Um, trying to think how we want to sequence this, and I think we're. It's still fine. Next time we can uptick Liliana, we'll bring the stuff back. So let's pass. We'll swing with Tracker. I didn't want to crack the clue there, because I want to crack the clue with our loam to bring it back next turn if we need to. Raven's Crime is not bad. Oh, wait. Undo. Right, do that. Crack, no, yeah. We want to discard this. If we cast the loam, yeah. We're gonna go to four. Loam back these lands. Play the ghost quarter. Ghost quarter their mountain. Uh, we just started, so we are zero and zero. All right, we're gonna go to one here. We 
do want to bring back the loam. Let's make them sack creature. Loam back these two. We're in our ghost quarter. Up their mountain. They got nothing. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we want to get rid of these thought seizes. They're not going to be good for us here. Uh, I want to bring in the pulse, the brutalities, the Kalidus. I don't think we need the influencers. Um, Bob doesn't seem great either. Engineer could eat up their creatures, but I don't think it's really worth it here. I think we just want to bring in this. And our opponent conceded because we were going to hit them for uh, seven, and then if they sent the Rift Bolt at us, we could go to one, but if they drew a land, then we just kill them. You don't think we need Ley Line in the side or in the deck? Because we didn't bring it in. Yeah, lilies are pretty sweet. We can just start, you know, we can eat away at their hand. So dropping it on turn three, we can just make them so they can't hold anything up. Yeah, if I brought in ley lines in this matchup, I would be questioning my sanity. get to do anything but turn two we can end up with double raven's crime and then later on we can drop a Kalidus. I guess I'm okay with it. This hand's a little sketch I'll be honest with you. It's a bit sketch but uh let's see what we can do. Blast Zone is a card that I really like too so um we'll just play this thicket tapped. Are we gonna want to cycle that later for any reason? Possibly. Possibly, but we have to run out of green source right now. Um, I'm just going to play the thicket. Pass it over. Yeah, but you know what? It is definitely super small. You know, those texts, can't read it. It's the worst. And Austin, I don't know if you were here earlier when I said it, but we did uh, modify the list a bit. Oh, this is in. Let's see. Light up the stage. Okay. Well, we can double crime them. Yeah, there's some other changes that I feel like I'm, we might want to do to the main, but, you know, it's a, it's a loam deck. Pulse is sweet here. Um, we can run out of Goyf and rip the last card out of their hand.
Burn zero cards. One card now and three creatures. We can block any of those creatures. Um, Blaststone can wipe out the Swift Spheres. I don't think they'll be swinging with Eidolon, but if they were for some reason to swing with the Eidolon, then we definitely have this game in the bag because we can take out the uh, Eidolon with the Goyf and then just wipe out the rest of the board with the Blast Zone or just drop the Kelatos. So, seems good for us here, and then we've got a Pulse to back us up. Mm, they didn't swing at all. Even better. Okay, we can run out Tracker, drop the Blast Zone, or run out the Kalidus. I think we just want to run this baby out. It's going to just see if we can take over the game with him. for them. Let's see. We can swing. They can't kill our Kalidus at all. And what, we're just going to sack it and uh, gain five life. I think that's our plan. They decided not to do anything with the block. I think we're going to just gain the three life. I don't want to actually pulse. Because I want to be able to bring back the Kalidus if it, they burn it away in it, if, at all. So we might just run out our tracker, take the three, and then play the thicket and pass it over. Yeah, I think if they would have kept that card in hand, that's the line I would have gone with. But because they just uh, didn't, we were good not to. They're going to skull crack us. Sure. Keep them up at a stop because we're going to pulse. We're going to crack a clue, save our tracker, and then. They lose both their creatures. We get a bunch of zombies. We'll pass it over. On our on their upkeep, we're going to pulse back our goif. And that's gonna be the game. There is no way they can come back after that.
Yeah, yeah. Starting off strong with that 2-0. Oh. Yeah, I don't feel like Burns where you want to be in Modern right now. It's uh, not, like, I don't think any of the matchups are really favorable enough, and, not, and any of the decks are slow enough for you to be doing that. Well, let's shock ourselves and crime them. Looks like we've got a mirror. Let's double black. Let's prime them again. And then push this baby. We should be playing some number of these as well. Uh, I think Etron's in a good spot right now. If I was playing a Tron deck, it's probably that's the version I'd probably be playing. Let's go green into black green into black green using the black. We will Ravens crimes them and then drop our coif. For sure, not a problem. Um, I think you want to just like they've been top eighting pretty well, so you have a lot of decks to pull from, which is sweet. Hopefully they don't have a bolt. They have a bolt. Okay. Definitely gonna run away with this game at this rate. playing Ren and Six and we're not. Yeah, well, we've got a push. Take that out and pass it over. <sighs> hey Lucid Hope, thanks for joining man. No worries, we're only in our second deck in the second match. Um, that's a bummer. Um, so you definitely joining in. We still got a lot of streamer going up next. Well, if we can get a loan, maybe we can get things going. But the problem is uh, they can put us to like one on their turn. 
with Ravine and Ren 6, but... Deck 1 went well. We went 4-1 uh, and one with the uh, Infect with uh, two Tefs in it, which was really sweet. This uh, this league is starting off well with uh, a 1-0 and o already. I don't know what we can draw to stabilize here, but that is not it, unfortunately. They got two attackers, and we don't. Alright, we're going to take out the Thought Seizes. Let's bring in the Kalitas. We could... So we can neuter their Bobs with our Engineers. Which I think is possibly worth trying here. And I think we want to bring the Spell Bomb for sure. I definitely think it's worth the splash. It doesn't seem like it's like too much to do the splash either. So like at that point, like why aren't we doing it, right? Maybe we don't want the engineers here. Right, Cause I don't really want to cut anything else. I imagine you're talking about the Giver of Hope version. I don't really know if that version is worth it. I don't know if this hand's worth it either. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep, keep it, I guess, because we're going to rip their hand apart. I really hope they kept in their Thought Seizes for some strange reason, and uh, they try to Thought Seize us. They did not, because they're a reasonable magic player. Uh, I am excited for DP GP to destroy. I need to get uh, uh, advice from my friend, though, because I don't actually know how to play. Um, I don't know how to... Uh, I, I need some tips for that deck, so I have to see how I want to go about that. Because um, I don't know that sealed format at all, so I have to rely on my friend to teach me what I should be doing. That's a bummer. We're going to lose our Raven's Crime. Mm -mm -mm. We could drop the bear influence, or we can hold up... Fatal push. Can't do both. I don't think we can... Do we want a Raven's Crime here again? I don't think... Do, mm, it's not terrible. We're losing the Field of Ruin. And then we can hold up push. They all have a land heavy hand. Okay. All right, when they go to crack without a Bloodstained Mire, I'm going to hit them with the push. Uh, I know that's a 4-5, but if we can get a Loam going, we can uh, just generate an insane amount of 2-2s. Two or not. <laughs> So I have a thing where I, so I I don't just go to events to like enjoy magic in the sense of like going there to play my favorite format. I uh, I do have like a 
passion to like be on like the SEG uh, tour circuit or on the Magic Pro Tour scene. Um, so like anytime I go to a main event, I mean go to any event, I'm always going to do the main event because I want to pursue that dream. Uh, as a result, I will all, like I'm, I'm going with the intent of playing the main event. Anything after that, I kind of just figure out from that point on. So like I'm gonna hit up my friend Jeff and ask him if he can build me a standard deck so I have a standard deck ready. Um, I'll probably hit them up about it pretty soon here, but and then. Outside of that, I'll also bring a, a modern deck, but I'm going there with 100% intentions of I want to play um, the main event to see what, what I can do. It's kind of awkward that we hit the, uh, the Baron and the Twilight Hand here, so we can't actually cast anything turn one, so... But I guess next turn we can go Thought Season to Raven's Crime. That's pretty cool. We're probably going against the Grixis uh, Urza deck, I'm, I imagine. the engineer hit him with the raven's crime and we'll pass it over yeah there is a chance that the uh, meta might shift um yeah it's it is good I, I it is the it was the it's a really good reason to you know keep you into the game and everything it's also kind of bad um because it was the reason i quit the game originally because i couldn't pursue the game in the way i wanted to pursue the game i actually cashed out before um so that was a bit of a bummer Yeah, I feel like the Twilight Myers um, are punishing us quite a bit. Um, what do we want to do here? We can hit him with double crime to get rid of the whir, but then we're dealing with the engineer. It might be correct just for us to take one card. No, I feel like we just want to take both cards out of their hand. And then they can, they're can they going to sacrifice this Nicker. Mm, maybe we hit him with one. Yeah. Why don't we do this? We'll hit him with the Raven's Crime. See what they do. Can't tap like that because of the Twilight Myers. Okay. We'll play this. Okay. Um, we're going to go double black into black green and we'll go ravens crime them discarding this oh that's not good but so we have to get rid of this for sure uh i got back because my uh work changed quite a bit so i i uh i'm in the apartment industry if you weren't aware um or never knew um so I'm in the apartment industry, and for a long time, my work required me to work a lot of weekends, um, to the point where I was working, um, I was working like every other weekend. So it didn't really allow for me to travel, um, plus costs. Just what I just didn't have the money there. If we go to war them, they're gonna bring that back. I think we're just gonna run out the bob. And they can shoot it. And then we can chop tracker next turn. Um, so yeah, my work changed quite a bit. Uh, and as a result of it changing so much, I'm now able to 
uh, actually pursue magic. So that's pretty cool, I think. All right, they're going to war for three. Let's see what they get. If they get Thopter, we just got to crack. Yeah, they got Thopter. So we got to just do it right now. We can't have them bringing back the Thopter Sword combo. It's too strong for us to deal with. So we got to get rid of it right now. Um, yeah, so my work changed and I'm able to pursue it now. So that's why I came back. Yeah, and I always had aspirations to try to be on the Pro Tour. I used to grind like an insane amount of uh, PTQs and... Um, no, that's a bummer. Yeah, I used to grind an insane amount of PTQs and GPs. Like, I'd pretty much go to any of them that was within, like, a like a 16-hour drive. I didn't really care. <laughs> and then, like, PTQs, like any single-day drive I was willing to do. Yeah, I think the worst part was just the amount of value I lost. <laughs> I, uh, my collection was like a five, four to five thousand dollar collection. I sold it for a reasonable price to a vendor I knew, but uh, after that, I uh, bought back in. My collection just like went up in an insane amount of value that I just didn't get to keep, obviously. So. Yeah, like while you're going to school, it is rough to try to like pursue a ton of magic. All right, we've got a big old dude. Yeah, I think magic's like the most interesting game because it is the game that people come and go from, right? The most, like. Oh, seems nice for us. Tracker is such a good card. I'm not going to crack another one because we've got lethal on board. And I want to hold a push just in case we need that. Yeah, I gotta buy into Arena as well. It's, um. I think it's a necessity at this point if I wanna do more with it. Alright, so Plague Engineer is pretty good here. We can basically kill off their birds. We wanna bring in the Spell Bomb as well. Um. I don't think the Kalidus is doing much. The Oofs are good. I don't know if we wanna bring in the Ley Lines. I think it stops a part of their combo, so that might be worth it. I don't think Damnation's worth it, unless I don't think Pulse is worth it here. Um, I don't think we're on the bear beatdown plan at all. And I don't I didn't see that they had much to hit with the fatal push. Thought seizes Raven Cram seems relevant. We're just gonna rip their hand apart. Um, we might be bringing in too much. We might not need like the big beater. And maybe we just are okay with having some smaller creatures and some valley creatures and just keeping them off their game. So let's try that. Yeah, you can pulse their things to uh, interact with them, but you're only able to pulse back a creature or a land, and a lot of the stuff they're bringing back are artifacts. Um, let's see. Yeah, Arena has, that's the other thing. Arena has their own, like, way to get to the Pro Tour. Um, so that's the other reason I want to make sure I get involved with that. I should have been involved with it a while ago, but, um, I just never got around to it. I like playing Modern more than anything else, but then at the Invitational, I got to play my first experience of playing, 
um, standard. And I was like, you know what? Standard's pretty sweet. I was really enjoying myself. So I got to play more and more of it. And so we'll see where we go from there. Alrighty. I've got an Urza and an Engineer. They got nothing really to sack the Engineer, but I think we have to get rid of the Engineer because they can play it next turn and start things going. And then we'll have to find a way to deal with that Urza. We don't really care about the bridge. We can figure out a way to deal with that at some point. Yeah, I actually have an account, and I did uh, go through the whole um, intro part that you have to do when it first came out. And I just haven't really put any money into it yet, is the biggest thing. So once I start putting money into it, I'm sure I'll uh, get all the cards I'm looking for. Okay. We can trophy away the Thopter Foundry. But I don't think we want to do that yet. They're not really doing anything with this right now, so we can just pass. We did beat Burn. And then we lost to the Jund. So now we're on the 99. Yeah, I was thinking I would have to spend like probably 100 bucks. So that's right in line with the pricing I was imagining. So, Ensnaring Bridge, sure. Mox is online, they didn't cast anything. Yeah, and I had, um, I built Phoenix on there at one point when it was the best deck. Obviously, it's not the best deck now, but I did have that ready to go. Ooh, Ghost Court is great for our loam. Um, let's get another Burden going. We don't really care about our life too much in this matchup, but we'll preserve it a little bit. We don't need to be too greedy as foods. Uh, let's drop this Lily. And let's uptick. Got their dude, got their golem. I guess on the plus side they can't attack, but they get to start casting cards off the top of their deck, which is gonna be unfortunate. Mm. If we can get a removal spell, that'd be real nice. Uh, I don't want to do the loam, because I wanted to draw a removal spell. We didn't get it. Cycle that. I probably shouldn't have not played that. Plague Engineer. Mm -mm -mm. What is. I want to see the creature type of the, the token that the uh, Thopter Foundry makes real quick. Looks like it makes a Thopter artifact, which makes sense. Let's make them sack a creature. Yeah, it is Thopter. I just wanted to confirm. Don't want to issue like the whole Blink Moth, Ink Moth thing. Caused a bunch of issues before. Alright, got rid of that. And yeah, as far as Psy, Psy also makes uh, Thopters. Alright, let's run out Plague Engineer. Named Thopter. And we'll 
pass it over. Speaking of being helpful with all your knowledge, Phoenix Crest, would you be willing to build me uh, Esper Hero, one of the more relevant Esper Hero lists or something that's uh, available? For Detroit, that is. All right, we could lose our Lily. Yeah, an up-to-date correct version would be pretty dope. Tracker's also pretty dope here. We've got to get rid of their, as much as I want to keep the Lily here, um, I guess we can see what we draw, right? We could go boom, boom, run out tracker. No, because we, we, can, we can't draw it anymore. So we gotta get rid of their Urza. And let's loan back all of our cards. I'll we'll beat him up with a 2 2 Death Toucher. Quickly pull up a Grixis Urza list. I want to see how many basics they actually run. All right, it looks like they run quite a few, like seven potentially. So we're not going to go on that plan uh, yet. So let's not do that effect. Bob is sweet. Let's draw a card. Alrighty, let's run out Bob. Verdant. Crack it. Put ourselves in forest. Let's cycle. This time we will loan. Um, I cast a spell so we can't swing with the engineer. How rude. Well, that's interesting that they did that so we can sell attack now. the thopter no sword but still not good they're gonna be able to sack their icker draw a card get a one one it dies we don't care on that this plague engineer's doing work
Are they getting fapped with a sword? The sword in this works the way I want, right? Because it's the triggered ability. Oh no, they're gonna get. Oh my gosh, the spell bomb! They're gonna kill our engineer! Oh, they don't have a red source! Oh no, they have a red source. I don't know. If anyone knows, they should let me know. Post it. No, we're just looking for sweet. The oof. I'll stop some of their shenanigans, which is sweet. Uh, we should have cracked our clues first. I'm bad. Play ley line. It's not bad. Maybe we just uh, loam first. Look at thicket, ghost quarter, and field. We have a ton of cards in our hand. Play the field. Play the ley line, and we'll pass it over. Spring. Thanks for the link, Phoenix. I'm so happy Unearth is getting played already. That card's so good. got a trophy so we can trophy away the ensnaring bridge it's our only line of victory I think problem is our Bob can kill us
so we can make our thing bigger. All right, well. There's a lily. It's great. Just uptick here. I think we do. I'll pass it. I'd love to hit another engineer. For zero. At least it's only zero. Oh, they're gonna pithing needle our lily. That seems very reasonable. I don't think we want to give up our oof yet, so I think we're just going to chump like that. The thing is, even if we get blast zone, we just do it for one, I guess. We can go much further.
what's up? What is that? Oh, turn mm -hmm. fish snake X, snake X. You gain X life with improvise. They kill her. Oof. Oh, they did it for X equals zero. That must have been a mistake. Can't they have a uh, they have a pithy needle on it? I just feel like this. Uh This blast zone just does not want to be found. And I'm down to like 10 cards. I think we're going to have to just go to the next game here. Hey man, if you want to come over and help fix my overlay, I'm all for it. Let's just go to the next game. Maybe we do want the influence. Just don't know what we're taking out. Let's trim a tracker and trim one loan. I don't really need more than one, but nah. Let's just put it in one. Um, yeah, my overlay is garbage. But it is, however, better than where it used to be. It used to be even worse.
But it is cool to play against the deck we're going to be playing against next. Sword's annoying. I don't really want to get rid of it either. Okay, well, we can get rid of it with Assassin's Trophy. But they're gonna do a whole mess of one ones. So we really need a Plague Engineer. Gonna protect our lily here. Let's take out the thopter, or I mean the creature itself. Give up the ley line? I don't think so. I think we need that to stay in this game. I don't want to give up tracker either, but I think we're gonna have to. So let's go ley line, uptick lily. We'll pass it over. It might have just been better to down tick actually. Save our tracker, they're down to one card. Back loam, cast loam, get back barren more, twilight, and a verdant. Guess we'll bog them. And we'll pass it over. Or 
Walkers is not good for us. It's gonna be a big creature. Not sure if we're gonna get back out of this one. I really wanted to just draw to get a removal spell, but I was supposed to loan there because I was gonna get a draw spell because of the Baron Moor. That was a mistake there, but we're just taking a lot of damage this turn. And we have like maybe one turn to hit something. We should have brought in that damnation. That was a mistake. But I think this is over. So let's move on to the next one, folks. They've just got too much. We don't we don't have any way to hit multiples. So I think if I played a little tighter there and the list was tuned a little bit more, we would have been fine. Pretty good. Holy crap, Cat Light's team uh, also made top eight. That's awesome. And Kyle Bag Bagamas' team. That's really sweet. I'm excited for those guys. The gals. Okay, let's take Devoted. I want to hold a trophy. not be correct um, to do this right now because I should be holding it up for the combo but I want to get Lily out yeah I'd like to get Lily out to just drop start dropping bears I mean uh, dropping cards out of each of both of our hands and then follow it up with making bears and uh, I feel like if they have a creature they're gonna be able to take it out pretty quick even if they Coco here I think we're okay that was it. Might not be correct, but it's the line I went with. Because otherwise, we can't, like, holding up until 5 mana is just too long to wait.
I'm surprised they're courting here and not playing Coco. <laughs> this turn. So let's go Verdant. Crack it. Um, we got two sources. See if we can get a push there, but a little too much, I guess, asking for. Alright, let's bend the Verdant. Next turn we can Loam, cast Loam, get um, this and the other ones, and make some bears. <clears throat> let's see if that's good enough. We're going to lose our Lily here. And they're just waiting for a payoff to win. It's almost a bummer you can't ask me just to show you the card. Oh, that's just a Coco. Oh, that's a Dusk Watch, so we're done here. Alright, we're bringing in the Collective and the Plague Engineer and the Damnation. I think this isn't terrible. I don't think it's where we want to be, though. I don't think this is where we want to be. I'm also not a fan of this card. That's why I keep taking it out. And I don't think we need Goyfs, necessarily, because we're going to have a lot of stuff just take out the, what they have going on. So we can just try to keep them off the game that way. Oof does stop the Ballista combo, but they still have a massive creature, so let's just play it this way. The deck I'm playing seems to have risen in popularity, or their deck. Because their deck's, I think, gotten popular because of the uh, Devastation stuff that's been going on. This seems sweet. We can uh, Raven's Crime, Raven's Crime again, and then we can uh, Plague Engineer that. Okay, that's another land, so we can actually triple, I mean double crime them right now, and then still play Engineer next turn. Yeah, the Collected decks have been definitely on the rise. We 
could double crime them again. Seems a bit much at this point, but they would be left with no cards in hand, but we wouldn't have the third land. I don't really like that. Human, I think, is the best call. Takes out the Vizier. But we could also just wait and run out the tracker. I'm not crime them. I'm a monster. Tracker was probably the correct decision. I'm not planning on blocking at all, so I'm just swinging. And human felt like the right call because it takes out the zero, it takes out noble, um, partially shr it shrinks their dust watch recruiter as well. This uh, Sphinx is becoming a problem here. Are we running ourselves into a Coco? We certainly look to be. That's very unfortunate. There goes a tracker. This is looking pretty bad. Ooh, another one. I think that's a match. It's like if we block here awkwardly and go to one, like it doesn't do anything. And we don't have the mana to do that, so that's match. Yeah, the tracker obviously was the right play, but um, I don't know. The, I felt like ripping them of nothing, leaving them just a burden of things, we would be able to find a way to deal with it. Um, and we just really didn't, so. this and we'll keep this 
Uh, I'm okay with the land here because we can actually draw it and actually thought these right away, which would be nice. Let's get rid of the pierce. And we're just going to double crime them on our turn. Oops, I accidentally sent out. They have another path in hand. Oh, my gosh. That was a mistake. I was supposed to generate double black, and I didn't. We can run out the bear. No, we can't. <laughs> Guess we can play our own field of ruin. No, I don't like that either. Well, let's Ravens Prime them. So we have a Plains, an Alice, and an Unknown in hand. And I think we're going to run out the Baron more. We'll pass turn. Next turn we can play the Influence or the Tracker. now, which is a bummer, but we can field the rune for the other green source and do it. So not the end of the world. Alright, Loma Sweet. We're not tracker. Land, we'll get ourselves a clue. Pass it over. Force. Can we make it happen? They've only got one card left in hand, so because we know the other one's a plane, so yeah, we got Bear Force in play.
I am out of water. How tragic. I think we want to play the blast zone, get another clue, and then we'll pass it. We can crack the clue, dredge back loam, and see what else we can find. Bear Force 1 next stream. I mean, this is pretty much Bear Force 1. Hmm. What are they going to target? They're going to target our Bear Force. Okay, opponent, you can bear force. Hmm. Two seconds, folks. I gotta run to the bathroom. Sorry about that. All right. Oh. If we actually play a bear force sec, though. It's, we'd have to play what a Eula to make uh, all the bears do even more. Let's just send them both at Jace. Okay, that's good. Let's see what they're working with. If 
force and a path. Let's take the path. It's low. Counter it. It's fine. And then we're going to pass it over. What's up, Mr. Pianos? Thanks for joining me. Taffer is a big deal. Take out Teferi. I think we're just going to leave that card in our hand. Because we're going to be able to Field of Ruin and then uh, tick Blast Zone up to three. And then blow up the Detention Sphere and get back our influence. The Tithe Modern Deck? Is it a uh, is a tithe mono deck like a mono white um, tithing deck that like actually just plays tithe or what are we talking about here? I haven't seen this deck in particular, or or at least it's not coming to me right now. Force back. It's Raven's Crime, then. Oh, okay. So you want to build like a, a blue white taxes deck, essentially, then, right? There are mono white taxes lists, um, and you can definitely make that a blue white taxes list if you'd like. going to play cards like in the standard tax list like Thalia and Arbiters and you're going to be doing the Ghost Quarter plan and you can definitely do it um, with uh, that card as well the uh, Grand Arbiter Yeah, EDH um, and Commander definitely increases the prices of cards quite a bit. It's always funny because I go back on some of the cards that I used to own and they were like kind of bulk style cards and now they're like, oh my gosh, super expensive. But yeah, I would just definitely uh, search up the search up the um, 
the mono white tax is less, and I think you'd be fine to build it off of that. Oh my gosh, they have all the walkers. here take all of our stuff we're not doing too hot they're gonna have three walkers in play and we're gonna have two creatures not shaping up well they're just uh getting to that point and uh earlier i did uh, forget that force of negation exiles my spell by the way that's why i didn't take it i thought oh i don't care we'll just counter it goes to our grave here we can just start dredging i think they're gonna just overwhelm us with value at this point I guess we can start priming them, which is not bad. But we gotta get a loam going to take over. The cryptic's probably just gonna tap down our team and draw a card. Kind of a bummer. We're gonna get two clues, and uh, if we crack it, we don't get anything. <laughs> oh, we don't have any lands left to grab. Oh my gosh, this is so bad for us. I think this one's over, folks. I think this one's over. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here and let's uh let's pivot into Grixis uh, Urza. Uh, oh no, we have to we have to finish this out. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. All right, we want to bring in the brutalities. Um. I don't even mind pulse here. 
Fell bomb seems good, but I don't want to bring in the ley lines. Push does not seem great. Let's dip on those and dip on one goif. Oh my gosh, that's that's so painful. So painful. Is this the official MTG game? Um, this is the original MTG, official MTG game. Um, so this is Magic the Gathering Online. And you can play every format on here. Uh, and it treats like an online trading card game. So you have to actually acquire all the cards and everything. The other one that's very popular right now is Magic the Gathering Arena. And uh, most people are playing that. because, But you can only play standard and draft standard on there. And now they're introducing a new format called Historic, which is pretty cool. Run out the Goyf just to see if they take care of that and we'll have a Bob afterwards. Yeah, this is, um, so this game, I don't mind the way it looks. Uh, a lot of people do give it a lot of crap because it doesn't look as pleasantly as it should because it's, it's, uh, um, quite old. But if you play Arena, Arena is very pleasant to look at. And you do have to invest actual money into this. This is the one downside, of course. Um, ooh, they're going to oust it. We're cool with that. Because we are going to drop this lily and start upticking it. Yeah, and I, I used to use a lot of those uh, free systems as well. Oh, they're going to force it. Okay, that's a bummer. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, honestly, that's... Uh, however, I only ever used those with people I knew. I never liked playing it with people I didn't know because then you would get into these situations to where um, someone may not understand, understand the game as well, um, which was always kind of like... Uh, it could become a bigger issue because then you're not really getting good testing in. I think I'm going to wrath us here. Hit us with a supreme verdict. Ah, the tension sphere. We can live with the tension sphere. Let's trophy the rest in peace. And then crime them. Yeah, commander can get real pricey real fast. Whenever I like my my uh, bad habit is um, cubes, so I have a um, I build cubes, and with my cubes, all I do is just uh, I proxy them, so I don't have to worry about anything else. Spell bomb and a tracker. We'll go tracker, spell bomb, swing. Four Black Lotus? You should be playing Four Black Lotuses in Commander. Commander is a singleton format, isn't it? And also, I'm pretty sure Black Lotus is banned in Commander. It uses, uh. 
Doesn't it use, um... Oh, you meant for the cube? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna buy Lotuses. <laughs> but I do have, like, five or six cubes or whatever. And I'm building some more, and I just proxy those. So it cost me, like, a hundred bucks to proxy a cube between the cost of labor printing and then, uh... Uh, labor printing and then... Just, uh, generating the... Uh, the sleeves, buying the sleeves, so it's nice for a hundred bucks to have a new cube going. Hmm, so that is a colonnade activation. So we can play a land, add a counter, let's draw a card. Brutality. All right, so if we swing everything and they block with colony, we could kill it. And if they want to hit a uh, block with the tracker, then we would be trading. It seems okay. Doesn't seem great. Unfortunately, the spell bomb to grow the goyf would uh, get rid of our card. Mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna. Pass. I don't want to lose either of these creatures, and we'll collective them. You liked cracking the uh, spell bomb? It's not an unreasonable choice to go with a spell bomb. Targets and pass. Yeah, hitting a trophy would be nice, or just getting a way to grow this goyf a little bit larger too would be nice. He's uh, just swinging in so hard right now. Jays just made things a lot worse. They should just maybe bounce. No, draw, I guess. They can bounce the next turn. We can hit the Jays, though. I don't think we can afford to dredge. We just hit another Goyf. So they could just bounce one and activate and swing. We'd have to be forced to block. And if we swing at it, same situation. We're not in a good spot.
Mm, that's definitely a game. He is going to bounce both, and then we die. No, bounce. Yeah. This is not looking good. They bounce one, but... Or bounce both, but then it's... It is, we're not dead this turn, but we're not going anywhere with this. So that's going to be it for that league. We're finishing off not so great after a strong start. Um, let's switch gears, and we're going to go over... I'm gonna, well, let me quickly end the video.